Hey guys, it's Dan, your host here, Dan Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for Fear the Walking Dead. This one's going to be doing my character evolution video for this week. This one's going to be for Fear the Walking Dead's first lead, Madison Clark. <laughs> Okay guys, this is going to be doing a video for today. This one's going to be doing a video for Fear the Walking Dead. This one's going to be doing my weekly character evolution video for this week for Fear the Walking Dead. Now guys, this one is a great suggestion. This one is uh, the winner of the poll for this week, which honestly with all the characters in the poll this week, I'm pretty freaking surprised. I got to say from the vote this week because we had like Shane, we had I think the governor, we had all these people and honestly, Crazy enough, the one that won this, Madison. That is absolutely crazy. So uh, obviously the rumors are around that she's going to be returning. I have a feeling that's probably why this one won. But uh, either way, that is awesome, honestly, guys. That You guys honestly really threw me off this week. Um, and I love it because I honestly, I was like, okay, they're probably going to pick like Shane or this and that. You know, a basic answer like that. No, you guys really freaking surprised me. I got to be honest. So um, awesome. Now, Let's talk about Madison, uh, Madison's character. Now, in season six, episode 16, she, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So let's get started. So in, uh, well, hopefully we'll get there at some point. So um, in season one, episode one, uh, and season one overall, now, basically, she is a guidance counselor. Obviously, she uh, deals with Tobias when he thinks that the world is ending, which he was right about that. Um, and uh, she gives him the knife and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and of course, the world just kind of falls apart around her. Now, that is basically the gist of her story, though, in season one. Like, she protects her kids. She She's there the world falls apart um the military comes in she doesn't do too much like she, she has a few scenes with like liza and stuff but essentially she's just kind of there she's just kind of like you know your, your mother kind of kind of character and as a guidance counselor she's you know she's there she's doing a few scenes like this uh probably the best thing for madison in season one is when she's going against uh the uh the, you know the principal and she has to like beat his head in that part was pretty crazy uh when he turns his you know into a walker so uh decent evolution it's all right uh season two uh basically she is uh more of a brutal character this season you know she, you know she uh she kind of does a little bit more um She's a little bit more of a kind of a brutal character this season. Um, and of course, we get to see her on the boat. She's kind of questioning Strand, like, are we going to Mexico and all that kind of stuff. And I like how they kind of start building a bit of a friendship between her and Madison this season. I thought that was pretty cool. But basically, Travis and Alicia get captured by the people on the boat. She, of course, uh, you know, uh, has to go rescue them. They do the trade-off and stuff like that. She does get Alicia and Travis back. But it's a bit of a struggle there, of course, because of Jack and Connor and all these guys. So uh, they make it to the compound, of course, and we get to see uh, Celia. Now, immediately, Madison just did not like Celia, and it, it honestly comes down to it. She doesn't like Celia. She doesn't trust her, and in the end, she locks her up and kills her. I mean, she de she definitely does. So, Madison's most, like, savage moment or one of them right there. That was just, honestly, when she locked her in, just, like, like plain, just normal expression on her face. No happy face, no dark face, just... Yeah, yeah, I locked you up. Like, it's like, like what? So, um, yeah, I don't know. That was, that was insane. But um, Madison's character in the first half of season two, pretty freaking savage, I'll tell you that. But honestly, a bit of a better evolution because they delved into her character more. And I'm like, okay, this is pretty sick here. So, um, the, the back half of season two, obviously Nick leaves. Uh, you know, she doesn't think she's ever going to see him again. Uh, we do have that episode with uh, her and Alicia and how Alicia's like, yeah, I'm your child. Like, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, Nick is, but so am I, you know? And honestly, at that point, I'm like, holy frig. So um, Madison leading the hotel, I thought was pretty good. And she does become more of like a lead character in season two, which I found pretty interesting. Um, as they kind of go for the border, as you see the death of Chris and everything goes down there. And she unfortunately, uh, you know, she still doesn't meet up with Nick, but of course we get to see them go towards the border and stuff like that. So uh, Madison in season two, better than season one i'll say i like what they did with her i think they delved into her character a little bit more um and i think her evolution was a lot better this season i'll say that now um season three wow this is probably her craziest season yet um she like delivers heads to people she hammers a guy's head in she uh makes peace with the enemy she uh, forgives guys that killed her husband like I just wow um pretty insane I'll, I'll tell you this it, it's pretty insane so uh Madison and and also I mean let's talk about the first point in season three she literally almost takes Troy's eye out she she should have realistically but she of course uh you know puts the spoon in the eye and of course uh you know kind of threatens him with that uh so she immediately starts off with a bang in my opinion I'm like okay this is pretty crazy and 
basically after that she goes into uh, the rest of the season she loses Travis uh, that's a huge hit for her and then of course they are having to kind of join this community and stuff like that now um Obviously, Walker is coming after them. He wants, you know, his old land back and stuff like that. Um, he kind of threatens them with it, with the guy that's, like, getting eaten and stuff like that by the... Well, you guys know. Uh, it's pretty messed up with the crow and stuff like that. But either way, it's pretty messed up. And Madison has kind of a choice to make, and so does Jeremiah. But in the end, um, it, it, it comes down to what Madison wants. I mean, honestly, she views it as, I mean, okay, Walker's probably going to win. He did just poison everyone as well, too, with anthrax and stuff like that. So why don't I just kind of make peace with the enemy and actually kill Jeremiah? And it's like, no, Nick's going to do it. So um, that was insane. She delivers the head. She makes peace with the enemy, and then they move in. So uh, in the back half of the season, of course, uh, you know, they kind of live among Walker and them. They're all living in one place together. Um which I always found weird. And this is the flaw I'm going to give Madison this season, though. When when Walker's like, don't test me, give me the keys. And Madison's like, oh, yeah, Jake, give him the keys. What? Like, really? Like, honestly, like, she, she's got a decent evolution. But this is when I just wasn't understanding her at all. Like, better than y'all better than y'all alternative makes us prisoners on, on our own land, Madison. I'm like, what is that? Like, that just does not make any sense, in my opinion. And um, this guy that's been scalping people feeding people to crows, you're just gonna be like, yeah, give them the armory, give them the keys to the armory, and, and we won't have access to it at all. Really? Like, 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 really? So, I don't know, that made no sense in my opinion, honestly, if anybody can argue that, I mean, feel free, but honestly, that made just no sense to me, honestly. So, um, they go looking for water, obviously, the, the community is running low, uh, this is when you get the Proctor John stuff, she meets back up with Strand, which I thought was pretty interesting, um, Alicia leaves after the ranch falls, and basically, you got the destruction of the ranch, um, as she kind of makes it back with all the water, and they make a deal to have Ophelia at the trade. Now, obviously, Ophelia is bit, and then it's kind of like, okay, Madison's all like, okay, what am I going to do here? Um, she tries to get her there, but unfortunately, Ophelia dies like seconds before Daniel sees her. And then, of course, Daniel kind of threatens to kill Madison if she doesn't leave. So, um, wow, wow, just just crazy. So, none of this is really a Madison character development, you know, like getting Ophelia there, all that kind of stuff. But, you know, obviously, just, you know, she's kind of there. She's kind of doing her own thing. And basically, let's talk about the dam. So, the Proctors attack the dam. Obviously, we find that out. Strand is kind of working for them a little bit, but he makes a deal to protect Madison and her kids and stuff like that. And then... Then Troy reveals the truth about what he did at the ranch. And he says he had every right. He said he had every right to do what he did. And Madison basically hammers his head in and kills him. And it's like, what? And Nick is just, I, I love Nick's reaction because he just sees this. And Nick's like the fans. He sees this. And he's like, okay, I'm just going to kind of walk away now. So, you know, it's like, all right, I'm out. Um, like, yeah, you're crazy, you know, but basically, uh, that's that Madison kills Troy. Nick is like, okay, what the frig? Um, and there you go. So basically the season three finale plays out next sacri uh, sacrificing his, uh, sacrifices himself. And of course we get them, they get away and Madison that washes up on her own. Now, uh, I would have loved to see how this story continued. That's the thing. Um, but of course, uh, they had to do the crossover, they had to do everything, which obviously in the end, with season six of Fear, I'm happy they did the crossover now, but man, in season four, some of this stuff, I was really, really discouraged. But they find the stadium somehow, obviously, they somehow find it, and basically, uh, which, uh, there's there's still a lot of plot holes in there, how they get to Texas and all that kind of stuff, but whatever, I'll let that pass, uh, because uh, we're, we're never going to see how that storyline went, let's be honest. So, um, basically, they find the stadium, uh, obviously, uh, she's interviewed by Althea, which I thought was pretty interesting, how, you know, she actually she did know Althea before she set up the stadium. Uh, and basically, uh, to make a long story short, the vultures around. The vultures show up, of course, and you've got, uh, you know, a Mel that's there. And Madison doesn't really want to give, you know, give up what she has. And, you know, she doesn't really want to fight. And I get it. But at the same time, you go from season three, Madison, I don't give a crap, delivering heads and, and hammering people's heads in. And you cut to this season where she's just like peaceful. We can all make a go of it in there. I'm like... Oh, like that, that, that's a bit weird. Like I, I'm, I'm, I like the optimism. I'm just like, okay, but really though, um, so that one was a bit weird to me, but I will say that, uh, Madison in that season trying to make peace, I get it. And it's kind of sad because she tries to make peace and the vultures just are not having it. And by the end of the season, Madison has to sacrifice herself for the ones that she, uh, you know, for the ones that she cares about. Uh, and she goes for the whole phrase, like, no one's gone until they're gone and all that kind of stuff. So, um, and there you go. So far, that is Madison's evolution. So I'm not going to say her evolution's done. That's the thing. I'm not going to say her evolution's done until I see the rest of the season of fear, because honestly, you never know what they're going to do. But, um, season one, 
decent season two actually pretty good evolution season three kind of questionable but it was okay i guess and season four it's good you know it, it's a good evolution so that is my thoughts i think season three season three she went a little overboard but either way i really like uh, madison's character i do like her character but there are times where i find her to be a bit you know questionable and there's times where i'm like okay really uh why why did she do that you know i kind of leave myself always asking those questions but uh that is my thoughts on madison's character but now i want to hear from you guys what do you guys think uh and i definitely think that uh, kim dickens honestly she deserves some credit i think she's a great actress and honestly um Maybe we'll see her again soon. Who knows? So anyway, that is my thoughts. I want to hear from you guys in the comments section below. And of course, guys, if you're new here, click your subscribe and see some of my videos for Fear of the Walking Dead. Follow me on Mark Navy, on Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys very soon in another video for Fear of the Walking Dead. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. And peace out.